Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to the JavaScript section again. So in this video, we are going to be writing our very first code in JavaScript. And before we even do that, let me make this statement very clear. If you are not going to be writing code along with me, there is absolutely no chance that you're going to be learning code. Now, regardless how easy the code is or how tough it is, you need to write it along with me. Just by watching the code, you don't learn programming. Similar to maths, you don't learn math by just seeing somebody else solving your problem. So go ahead, take up your keyboard and start writing the code on actual computers. So first and foremost, uh, let's bring up our browser. We're gonna just keep it there for a moment here. And what we'll be doing is we'll be writing our very first code. And I'll be using my VS code for that, Visual Studio Code. So it's really damn fast in opening up and I really like that. And I'm gonna uncheck this because I don't want to see my welcome page all the time. So I'm gonna just close that. Now here from this guy, you can open up your, uh, your package controller, I guess what they call it. And you can install a few additional packages. So you can just search it in here and can install that. Now you don't need to install like everything, but I would recommend you to install one which is known as Babel and especially the Babel ES6. Now, don't worry what it is. Uh, you just have to click on it, Babel ES6. What it does, it gives you some syntax highlighting, which is pretty amazing. And it's really fun to see all of your code when it is color corrected. It's easier to debug your problems. So go ahead and you can see there are lots of, lots of downloads, probably like uh, almost 200,000 downloads here. So pretty good. In case you want to use any others as well, feel free to use them. There is no such big deal. All we want is a color coding. There are a variety of other snippets and all these things. Uh, feel free to just use whatever you like. Okay, so we're gonna go just here. Now it's asking us to open a folder. Now we don't have any folder as of now. So just right click on your desktop, create new folder, and we're gonna call this as simply JS. Now I am doing it as of now, but you are not able to see it because it's on my other screen. Let me just bring it that for a moment. And we're gonna call this as JS exercise files, okay? Now, yes, I have actually created. Uh, this is the blank folder, nothing a mystery here. Now my screen, other screen is just 5K resolution. So that's why it doesn't really record there. And I have to bring everything here. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be just doing this JS exercise here. And all you can do is you can just drag and drop your folder in here and it's gonna just open that up for you. Or what you can do is you can just go back here and can open that folder just right for you. So however you like, uh, you can just go ahead and just do that. Now my folder name is pretty long, JS exercise file, that's why it's here. So just drag and drop, I prefer drag and drop. Okay, so this is exactly what we are having. And I'm gonna create a new folder here, uh, which is gonna say uh, 01 basics. So we're gonna be starting with the basics. Notice automatically just fetched up here. Hey, please don't tell me about the Git repository. We can work on it later on. Okay, so the basics, just open that up. Notice it's selected. And we're gonna create our very first file and we're gonna call this as hello world. And without any doubt, yes, we are gonna start with the hello world. Before we even get started, let me also walk you through with a couple of settings that I have already done in my VS code so that you can make the environment exactly same as mine. So go into your code and click on your preferences and settings. For Windows guys, it would be under Windows, Preferences and Settings. So what I am seeing here is these are the user settings. So these are the common settings. So what you can do whenever you want to change anything, you can just copy these lines and can just paste them here. Make sure you're separated by a comma and you can just edit whatever you like. And this is exactly how you edit things in uh, most of the editor nowadays, including Atom or your Sublime Text or these things, not Sublime Text, <laughs> your Atom and this guy. So what I have done is I have just made the editor font size to 22 so that I can have like bigger size uh, of the fonts so that's easier to see all the things. So when I write things like anything here, it's easier. And the colors are so vibrant that I think on every screen you are able to see them. And that's the main reason why I picked it up. So I changed a few settings here. Uh, I changed the zoom level to two and editor's fonts to 22. Now you don't need to have work, uh, workbench and all these things. Just make sure the editor.font size and just copy them by the way from here. It's much more easier. Just copy this line. And if anything else is written, just place a comma and enter that and just change it. So pretty easy, not at all a big deal. So there we go. 
So we're gonna be writing our very first code and no, we don't need to include any of the HTML file or CSS file. Now we can run them directly here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write our very first hello world. So what we're gonna say is we're gonna say console.log and then use pair of parentheses and inside the single quotes, we're gonna say hello world. There we go. And semicolon after that. So there we go, that's it. Really simple line of code, does nothing at all. But my dear friend, you need to have patience while learning programming. These simple things eventually get complex and you need to just get started from here. Save that line. Now the problem is how we can, how we can run this file. Now if it would be attached with an HTML, we can just load that HTML, it would have run, but that would like deviate our purpose of learning the pure JavaScript syntax here. Okay, so let me just do walk you through how we can run that. Now open up your terminal. There we go, this is my terminal. Open your command prompt if you're on Windows. Uh, I hope everybody knows how to navigate them, uh, like using the command like cd and uh, cd space dot dot and all of that. So I'm gonna go on my desktop and in there, there's a folder known as uh, JS exercise files. And inside that I have a folder named as 01 basics. So I'm gonna go CD 01 basics, there we go. And if I do a quick LS on my system, I can see hello world.js. If you are on the Windows, you might need to do DIR to list the directories here. So how we're gonna run that? Now make sure you have installed, watch the previous video and have installed the node here. Just run the node hyphen V and you should have a number, that's it no worries about what the number or the version of the node you have installed. And once you have that, what you need to do simply is uh, node space and then simply the name of the file. Make sure it's a case sensitive thing. So however you have named the file, you should name it exactly the same. And hit enter and there we go. Super excited. I know this is not really the best in the world, but still we are able to run our very first program. So we will be doing things like this, okay. So this is all good. In case your node is not installed, go ahead, watch the previous video and install the node first of all. Now let me also walk you through a couple of steps. Uh, probably I would highly recommend this approach only because eventually things will get complex and this is the best approach. But for some reasons, maybe you want to run that on a browser, there is a website JSBin which we discussed in the previous video and we can utilize that as well. We won't be working on HTML, uh, we won't be working on CSS, just JavaScript and console. So just enable your JavaScript, let's disable the HTML, you can just click on them, get the console, we don't need the output at all. So what you can do is you can type here console.log and just exact same thing and we can simply say, oops, hello world, there we go. And of course, semicolon and there we go. Once you have done that, you can click on this run and it's gonna say exactly same thing. So yes, for some basic and easy stuff, you can just use this, but my approach always says, go with the hard way, the actual way of writing the code, using the text editor and running that. So there we go, finally our environment is perfectly set for writing the very first code. From the next movie onwards, we are gonna be working on the basic data type and exploding how JavaScript works and all these things. So that's it for this video. I hope you are enjoying this series. Keep watching and I'm gonna surely catch you up in the next video.